30 years ago, not many folks were interested or thinking about sustainability. BBISS was at Georgia Tech. We do cover many areas in sustainability. And right now, after 30 years, BBISS has the history and the ability that can provide expertise to those who are seeking solutions. So in the 1990s, there were really two schools of thought about sustainability education. One was to create a specialty program, school, or even college for it. And the other one was to sort of like make sure you dissipate it all over the traditional programs. Georgia Tech went the latter way. We said we want to make sure that every engineer, every business person gets some kind of exposure to sustainability. We and our students want to make a difference, not 50 years down the road, but now. The fact that we now have more than 100 courses that focus on sustainability across the six colleges really has given our students an ability to implement what they learned. That's the key. The innovation that really started Georgia Tech on a trajectory that I think is unmatched is when we made the decision to link technology and sustainability with what are the social consequences. How do we give back more than we take away? Increasing that efficiency, uh, making sure we use natural resources, making sure our students understand the distinction and giving them the opportunity to experiment, to learn along with us as we conduct research. I think it's, a, it's just a wonderful combination. Brook Bio Institute for Sustainable System coordinates research across the campus and I focus on ecological urban design. I practice internationally. So those cities, they are dealing with the growing urban population, increasing risk of disaster like flooding, drought. So how urban design can be an instrument for shaping urban environment to be more sustainable, resilient, and socially inclusive are equally important in both locally and internationally. I think one of the most unique and valuable things about Georgia Tech is the brain trust that we have on this campus. And you might think I'm talking about our faculty, I'm actually talking about our students. <laughs> they come to have the kind of opportunity that only Georgia Tech can provide through efforts like Sustainability Next, where we're working across campus to envision what's next for sustainability at Georgia Tech and how can we sharpen our focus on those most pressing problems of our day, the kind of problems that most people at Georgia Tech want to get involved in solving. This is the opportunity of the moment and I'm really excited about where we're going. The field of peace engineering was launched and a number of universities began to investigate what engineers could do to help address these challenges. And I think that's super exciting because it does tie into sustainable development goals. It ties in climate, it ties in water-induced stress, food insecurity, national security, feelings of inequity. Georgia Tech began to think about innovation, infrastructure, and industry combined with peace. And GTRI and Georgia Tech can be the honest brokers in bringing people together. And I think that's a very intriguing, very exciting path along sustainability that is different in many ways from what we've done in the past. To really understand how the Candida Building serves as a hub for this audacious way of thinking about sustainability is to go back to the original vision of the Candida Fund. They wanted a fully certified living building in the hot, humid, swampy south. The idea is if you can do it there, it can be done anywhere. You have a net positive energy building and Georgia Tech can leverage this building to make it a change agent. We are on a sustainability continuum and the Candida Building is just one thing in that continuum. I'm Angel Cabrera, president of Georgia Tech, and I am so pleased to offer my congratulations to the entire Georgia Tech community for three decades of sustainability initiatives. We have transformed our campus into a more sustainable place. We have challenged our students, faculty, staff, and alumni to be more aware and responsible citizens for the planet. We have emboldened our researchers to make life better for everyone and everywhere but we know that we cannot stop now. So I also would like to offer encouragement to everyone at Georgia Tech to make the next 30 years of sustainability achievements many times greater than the first. <laughs>